This is the Cinesoft filter from Prism Lens Effects. And here's how it can give you that retro cinematic style that you're looking for. What's up guys, Brady here, and if you're interested in any form of cinematography or stylistic photography, you've likely heard about diffusion filters. Whether it's the Tiffin Black Pro Mist, Moment Cinebloom, or even the famed Hollywood Black Magic. Out of all of these brands that I've owned or used, the recent offerings from Prism Lens Effects have really caught my eye. No, this video isn't sponsored, although I wouldn't mind that. But I did find this discount code online for 20% off at Prism Lens Effects, and it seems to work for most items, so if you want 20% and want to pick up anything from this video, use code SAVE20 at checkout. You've probably heard of Prism Lens Effects before with their semi-viral marketing campaigns on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. This, 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 this. They're widely known for their glass items like their kaleidoscopes and prisms, and their screw-on filters like their dream effects and nostalgia filter, which this one is actually very similar to. The Cinesoft is a very new player to the game. They sell it in two strengths, with one fourth being the weakest and one half being the strongest in terms of effect. Depending on which size you get, they range from 74 to 95 US dollars for the screw on filters, with a matte box version coming in at a slightly more hefty $245 price tag. Also, if you choose to order anything, they come with this nice little pouch. I picked up a one half filter in 95 mm the biggest thread size that they offer for my Canon RF 28-70 f2 lens. The Cinesoft does the exact same thing as the Dream Effects filter as far as I can tell, but Prism Lens Effects claims that it targets the highlights in skin tones a little bit more than its predecessor. Needless to say, this quickly became my absolute favorite filter from day one of using it. If you're new to diffusion filters, this will definitely take a little bit of getting used to. Filters like this lift up your black tones and shadows and give your image a little bit of an overall flatter glow. At this point, you're probably asking yourself, why the f would I want to soften my 4K image? Well, let's talk a little bit about digital sharpness. 4K Ultra HD is pretty much the standard for video in most cases today. Furthermore, with cameras like the Canon R5 bringing 8K video into mainstream consumer cameras, people want to sharpen all the things. This is great for things like products and foods, but do you really want everyone seeing every single individual pore throughout your face? Probably not so much. But how sharp is too sharp? The solution to this problem is diffusion filters. These filters combat that digital sharpness that you get from modern cameras and provide a subtle glow to skin tones and highlights. It also does a tremendous job of preserving the character of the colors in your image. Let's take a look. <laughs> So at the end of the day, who is this filter for? If you're looking for a very specific nostalgic slash film look for your photos and videos, absolutely buy this filter. But if you crave sharpness, maybe go with the weaker strength 1 fourth filter or just hold off altogether. For the money, I think it's totally worth it. The Cinesoft has more of a unique character than other filters I've used, and I've found myself often using the Cinebloom filters less and less. I recommend that everybody tries a diffusion filter at least once with their video and photo journey. You might not like it, and that's okay. But you might also find yourself going down an absolute rabbit hole of styles and looks that you never would have otherwise considered. This is hands down the best artistic type filter I've ever owned. And that, folks, is my verdict. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like below to let me know. What's your experience with Prism Lens Effects and the Cinesoft or Dream Effects filters? If you have any questions and or comments on this, leave a comment down below and let's have a chat. And if you want to hear more from me, definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button and bell notification icon next to it so you can always be in the know when I upload new videos. And as always, see you in the next one.